Uh, this is officially the post-mortem for the recently concluded Carib Wave Regional Tsunami Simulation that was completed less than a week ago last week, Thursday. And before we proceed to opening remarks or remarks by the director, I'd like you all to draw your attention to the screen behind me. Uh, it will show you what transpired not too long ago in Japan when a tsunami struck that country. You will observe how their emergency and multi-hazard warning systems were triggered and what transpired thereafter. So uh, I take your attention to the screen. Essentially, that is, thank you for your indulgence. And just some of note from what you just saw. This was a magnitude 9 or 9.1 uh, earthquake that affected Japan uh, some years ago. That earthquake caused a tsunami and also brought with it death and devastation of unforetold numbers. I mean, billions in, in damages to buildings and property and in excess of 30, 35,000 deaths as a result of that one biblical event, you can call it that, okay? The reason why we wanted to bring it to your attention is to show, is to, is to illustrate two things. It's widely accepted that Japan is among, or has what you could say is the gold standard as it relates to early warning multi-hazard systems. Despite that, you just witness how devastating the uh, loss and damage in relation to that event was. And towards the latter end of the video, you would have also noticed a tsunami warning was triggered to sort of, so in that, um, in that calamity, persons still had to sort of make their way to higher ground to avoid being uh, affected by that tsunami. So uh, I conclude here, and I would now like to in invite the director of the NEMO, who will provide you with an overview of how St. Lucia's uh, participation in the Carib Wave uh, simulation of last week Thursday went. So. St. Lucia was among 38 countries which participated in the annual regional tsunami simulation known as Caribe Wave. The exercise was held on March 23, 2023 and commenced at 9 a.m. The island's last participation in the exercise was in 2019, which was pre-COVID. The purpose of the Caribe Wave simulation exercise is to validate tsunami preparedness within the region. The annual exercise tests whether early warning systems, evacuation plans, communication systems, as well as public awareness, or it can be a combination of those that I've mentioned. In the past, we have focused on the previous two, which is the evacuation plans and the, to test the early warning systems. This year, participating countries had to choose from two scenarios. One, a tsunami generated by an earthquake in the Gulf of Honduras. Two, a tsunami generated by a volcanic eruption of Mount Pele, Martinique, where part of the dome collapsed into the sea. St. Lucia chose the scenario which was closer to home, the Mount Pele scenario. For our chosen scenario, we decided to use the simulation to test our communication systems and emergency communication processes. The simulation afforded the NEMO an important opportunity to examine in real time 
the performance of the existing communications processes and to explore areas for improvement. A Google form was developed to capture basic information which will help NEMO evaluate the successes, weaknesses, and gaps uncovered during the simulation. The link to the form was widely circulated and a total of 952 persons responded. An analysis of the questionnaire is as follows. Question one, where were you when you received the message? The choice was that of the 18 districts and um, we want to note here that within the NEMO system, we have 18 where we separated ancillary and canneries into two separate districts. 205 people, or 21.5%, stated that they were in the Groselay region. 189 people, or 19.9, were in the Castry Central area. Question two, what time did you receive the message? Most persons received the message between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. This in itself needs some urgent attention as timeliness of the receipt of the information is key to save lives and livelihoods in the event of a hazard. Question three, if this were a, real, if this were a notice of a real tsunami, what would your reaction be? This is interesting as 809 people or 84.5% said they would run to higher ground. And this is what we are looking for. This still means that public sensitization and education needs to continue as 35 respondents or 3.7% indicated they would freeze. And this is what we don't want. Question four, Th through what medium did you receive the notice? 735 respondents or 77.2 received the notice via SMS means. At least two of the mediums of dissemination require verification before the message is sent out. There were eight radio stations and five television stations who participated and appreciated the exercise. The NEMO is encouraged by the, re by the level of cooperation we receive from the participating media entities. This demonstrates a willingness to collaborate on crucial emergency management planning which can save lives. Thank you for your cooperation. I want to say here that NEMO has always received the assistance of the media, whether it be print, telephone, sorry, print, television, radio, and social media to advance its disaster risk reduction mandate. Again, I say thank you. Um, in conclusion, um, we want to look at the recommendations moving forward. I will just highlight a few of them, not all. We need to advance our community evacuation plans and schedule simulations within the, the communities. Access additional repeaters to be able to communicate to the remote areas. Maintenance of equipment for early warning. NEMO will be engaging the stakeholders to review how we can improve on the timeliness of the alerts going out. Upgrading of the cap.cap .cap application we noted that people were not able to download the software to the newer model of Android. So this needs to be looked at. At this time, Nemo wishes to thank members of the organizing committee, the general public, and all who partic participated in the exercise, the media stations who helped us with the public sensitization, the communications team, staff of the Nemo Secretariat who worked hard to pull this through, JITS, Flow, Digicel, once again, thank you. Uh, this officially concludes our press conference here today. I want to thank you all for taking the time and joining us. Do have a safe journey back to your respective newsrooms.